Hello and welcome, dearest. I'm Grandma Mimsy. Thank you for spending time with me today and allowing me to help you update everything. I was doing a live the other day and someone announced, and I'm sorry, dear, I don't remember your name. There was a lot going on in that video. Uh, I uh, said I would do uh, something uh, uh, for someone who's getting married. And uh, if you see this video, please comment and let me know. I know she said she was getting married in November, which is next month, and it's coming soon. So if you comment in what your wedding theme is, what your colors are, what you're interested in, I can try and help you get something in time for that. And this is something to have some quick ideas and plan for this in advance because, well, in my opinion, you're going to want to do your nails and have them done about a week beforehand because there's a lot going on and then it does take time for all this stuff to fully cure so you don't damage it because heaven forbid you wouldn't want to be doing anything lacy or white or pretty and then have whatever artwork you did transfer off into something else or get ruined because of something else. So number one for a wedding, uh, I highly recommend, this is one of my favorite plates that I got. It is very popular on the Maniology website, and let's see if we can get this in, is uh, M052. This is, I believe, pardon my French is the name for it, but it is so you can do the um, French tips. And for a wedding, most people ha will do the standard uh, pink on your nail, and then you do the white. Or the off-white but I'm gonna suggest if you want to be non-traditional and do something differently you can still do this but do it in the colors of your wedding figure out the base color that you want to be the most figure out the accent color that you're gonna have at the tips you can still do this but like I said do it a week in advance you're going to want to get one of the base coats and I have a video on it on the duos I highly recommend either one of those or both of those. There is the sticky base coat. There is the smudge free top coat. Um, the BAM white is fabulous. And then go through Maniology's colors. And I have some videos at this point. I've been, I've managed to be able to get uploaded that have a lot of the colors. I'm still working on that. That's going to take me a while to complete all of the shades that I have and am still getting. So uh, there's some options for you there, but they have a lot of colors and I'm sure you'll find something that you'll love. Uh, I highly recommend getting this because right before getting married, you really don't want to have to fight with the cleanup. Uh, these are the uh, cuticle protectors and they basically go around your finger Let's see if we can figure out which way it goes because this is, I'm looking at it. Yeah, here we are. So it goes around your cuticle this way. No. Come on, Grandma. Get it together. This goes around your cuticle this way. So, yes, because I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't actually have it pulled off. That's, like I said, ambidextrous. I get confused. So this goes around this way this part here is protecting this part you want to line it up pull this off and to be honest what I would do is I would cut this out of its backing and then like you do contact paper on a shelf just peel off the part and line it up on the edge because this is super sticky and when they it sticks to itself it's not so easy to get undone and you're gonna fight with it and heaven forbid You'll probably want to have someone help you if you if you have the option for that. But take off the edge that you need and apply this. You know, cut, peel it to the back, take off this part, get it to where the section is that you need it, and get it as close to your cuticle as possible. Um, even if, and, and again, some people like doing the cleanup. And yes, do the cleanup. Go through and whether you're of the, the, the Russian manicure mindset doing it dry or your regular manicure and soak your nails, go through and get you a good manicure tool. Mani uh, Maniology sells both of these. Just be careful because this tip part does get a little sharp and pointy. But essentially, 
be very gentle and you're going to use this part and just push back push back ever so gently and as you feel it tug put some lotion on put some oil get you some sort of uh something that you can have on there and be you know and then alcohol to your fingers so you're not slipping and sliding or whatnot um but basically go through and clean this off get it all up that's what this end over here for and the the end on this part ever so gently because the cuticle part is the most delicate and you don't want to damage that that's where your nail grows from so push back push back push back and then apply some lotion or um, <coughs> um, oil uh, cuticle oil to your skin and then then try applying these and if you can't get these to work well again there's scotch tape masking tape things like that and protect your cuticles because you can get the brush to clean up with but it's a royal pain in the butt to have to go through and clean up after the fact and I do that a lot because well you find one little spot and then you go to clean that up and then it spreads because the polish remover tends to make everything just and well it just snowballs at that point so essentially but this is the traditional which most people go with this makes it easier and if you're not that great at polishing or nervous or whatever that you've got going with that um that's what this is and i i have a video and i can do another one specifically using this part but essentially you're going to put your polish on use your scraper and i'm trying to grab my stamper over over here and then You've got something around your nails because they, they also have the liquid one. They have the latex one and the non-latex liquid one that you, you paint on. And that might be better. But essentially, you would put your polish on. Use your scraper. You do this. Rub it off. And then line it up and put it on. And it goes on your nail. And it is super, super, super easy if you're having one of those days that getting polish on your nail um the other option is the chromes and glitters and i have one more plate over here where did i put it i had it right here in my hand this is another one that i would recommend if you're looking for uh, inspiration bmxl there we are bmxl 360 and you have all the lace you have all the individuals you have you can this is similar to the tips like you would do with the French tip. So paint your base color and then you can use these designs on the tip or on the whole nail, however you like. So there's that one. Um, but you can do whatever, you know, again, inspiration on this. It, it all depends on, you know, what you're into. Find you a stamp that appeals to you, butterflies or uh, snowflakes or whatever it is that the theme that excites you the most that goes with the, the the colors the theme everything that is coordinating with your wedding tie that in i'm sure there's a plate type in the search bar and see what you would like but there's other things that if you just want to do something really simple and you know get this one and do a plain nail then you can throw in some gilt glitter just do something very minimal but different um, the other options is the chromes, and Maniology has quite a list here. Um, they had one that was exclusive to the Box of Shadows. It is a gorgeous reflective glitter. I hope they bring out more. Please, Maniology, bring out more. Request they bring out more, because, you know, when people request, they finally, they do. So there is, I think this is Garnet, is the red. That's what we have there we have sapphire which is there we have the sun sign and i didn't do that one but i have i think somewhere around here i had there it is and my poor swatching stick has been beat to heck so that kind of gives you the image a sun sign um let's see here we did sapphire we did this is tanzanite so it is a purpley pink 
we have amethyst, and then we have glitter. These are chrome, so these shine up to the chrome finish. The glitter is glitter. And I will be doing a right after this and how do you chrome video so I hope that is a quick help and again if you're looking for any other inspirations leave me in the comments and I will help you narrow down and have some suggestions for weddings or anything else that you have upcoming thanks for spending time with me I hope you enjoyed this update your nails video um, please be kind thank the people that show up for work every day and tell them you appreciate them tell the people that you love and care about how much they mean to you be kind to everyone because well that's what the world needs right now especially yourself that's what we need right now thanks for joining me bye